Hi, welcome to Sonny's Tech Talk. This is the second episode of a two-part series discussing marketing that is built into Sonny's controls. Uh, to my right, I have Anthony Andaleno, still the president of the equipment division here at Sonny's. Uh, Nick Kearns, uh, sales team here at Sonny's, and Mike Berlin, GM of Slam Car Wash Marketing. Jumping in, I want to talk a little about bit about ecom. I know Nick. You talk to clients quite a bit and they're, they're interested in e-com, they want to get an understanding of it. You want to tell us a little bit about your perspective on it? Yeah, so the, the e-com piece that we offer is pretty unique in how easy it is to use and kind of what it is in and of itself. Um, so now, like I had mentioned in episode one, I think that every type of consumer that has any type of membership based thing, they're, they're going to want a platform, an app so to speak, where they can sign in and manage their account. I think that just goes without saying, I think it's expected. So what this does is this lets you as the car wash operator have access to get, provide this to your customers, but you don't have to contact a third party to build some custom app that's going to take a year to implement. You know, you may want to make changes and call them to change a picture. It's going to take a month. With this one, it's a progressive web app, as is the back office. So when you feel like there's a gift card on there that you want to put 10 extra bonus bucks on to help it sell better, you do that. You want to change a picture, change some verbiage, maybe try an online only trial pre plan for your top wash package. You can do all of that without having to contact a third party for it. It's so nice when we go to build websites for customers, you can tell they're stressed about how am I going to handle this e-com piece and it's this big thing in their mind and then I'm like, it's included in your subscription, it's included, it, all we're going to do is link, we're going to uh, theme it so it matches your website, you can change out the artwork, uh, it's a big relief to them for sure. Uh, loyalty points, I know the two of you are hyped up on loyalty points from the talk we just had. Want to tell me what you, what you like about the loyalty point system? Yeah, so here's here's my take on the whole loyalty point system is, is that not everybody is going to want to be a member. And if you're in a saturated car wash market, what's going to make the non-members want to wash with you versus somebody else? It's because you're going to give them something back. With the automation we have now with the license plate cameras, <clears throat> if I don't want to be a member, I can still opt in to get points towards a free wash. Every time you see my license plate, I get 10 points. When I get to 100, it's a free wash, or however you want to have that set up. It's like Jersey Mike's, I go for my sixth sandwich free. I mean, obviously, right? So it's, it, to me, the ultimate loyalty program is the membership. I mean, that, that's got them locked, right? Uh, if they don't want to do that, it's how, you know, it keeps them interested. It keeps another touch point with the customer. Uh, like you always talk about, Anthony, little happy moments. You don't want any bad moments. Those are those are more little small happy moments with the customer. I mean, think about how the the giant market for points for airlines. Airlines are, are killing it with the points. You know, lottery wash. I know that's something that you've done. You want to explain lottery wash to everybody and how you're using it? Yeah, the lottery wash is real simple. You can set up um, in the computer or in the back office to actual um, have every hundredth customer get a free car wash. Um, it's kind of neat when they pull up and they're excited they got it. It's that surprise. Anytime you can do that there, I think it's great. Um, I think we can certainly afford to probably do it a little more often than that. But um, when they do get it, they, they tell somebody or they go on and post it uh, online and uh, the customers get to see it and they're all wondering if maybe they'll be next. So it's just, again, like Mike said, that little bit of wow, the little bit of surprise you can do for them. We give away a towel, with, you know, if they buy the top three washes, we tell them that. Um, and when they get it, they love it. They're out there touching up the car. And um, the biggest thing is to make them happy when they leave. It's another touch point, another thing to promote on social media, on the LED menu at the street, you know. And with the lottery wash too, it's one of those things where you can literally go on your phone, press a button and it's happening. There's no extra labor. It's all done by the license, cap the license plate camera. So why not, you know? I know two of you worked on fundraisers together. What are your, what are your fundraiser techniques? How are you doing the fundraisers? How are you advertising them? So I, I learned from one of our big time customers who's built a bunch of washes and run some very successful chains. The big thing was to become part of the community. So they would offer to do fundraising opportunities for any real legitimate charities in, in the community, whether they were schools or churches or uh, hospitals or programs. And they would come, they'd pitch um, who they were, what they were doing and what they were um, working towards. And they would make an arrangement where if a customer came in and bought a wash, uh, one of the top washes, a percentage of that would go to the charity. And in some cases, they gave them even a discount on the wash. And to do that, they gave them either a static sticker on the window to attach the code number, um, or on the screen, if you want to support a fundraiser, you press that button, and then the list of fundraising opportunities that we're supporting at the time are there. You choose one, and then the menu changes. So we have five washes. Only the top three show up. 
You buy any one of those top three, you get a discount and they get money. So my average ticket goes up because they don't see the five or the 10 mm. and they only see the top three and they're buying up and they're getting a better wash and they're giving $2 to the charity, they're saving a dollar on the wash and I'm still making more money. So it's a win-win. The computer's so cool that all we do is pull a report for each charity, tells them how many times somebody chose a wash for them and it tells us how much money this write a check for and send it to them. And we send it to them monthly. We want to be the, the best wash in town and this is one way to do it. It's all about engaging with your local neighborhood. Um, and we, we build kits all the time with, you know, little cards or flyers, stickers even. Um, however, it, you can make it easy on that church group or that uh, civic group to go spread the good word. Yeah. There's a couple different ways to do it too. I mean, you could just do it, let's say that you wanted to uh, put them in, um, give them to a school and the kids can put them in their folders and bring them home. That would be setting up um, a code that is related to this fundraiser. It goes out, you track how many are coming back. You can even have it on the pay station for those who may not have kids at that school or even know about it where the screen will say fundraiser. Now, out of curiosity, they click it. You can have all of your washes come up. You can have special washes with special discounts where they save a buck off the wash and they're also contributing. And then at the end of the month, you run those reports again too. Anthony goes and cuts the check to the organization. Everybody feels good about it. And then you can do it again another six months. And we get an awesome picture of handing off the check for social media and to keep the ball rolling. Yeah. It becomes a win-win-win. You know I mean? So how are you doing it? Um, the first couple that we've done just prior to COVID were just that. We actually um, sent the kids home with cards. We did a form letter that told them how to use it and, and process it at the site. Um, so they went out and distributed it to all their people that they knew, all the kids did. So imagine every kid in the group knows 10 families and they pass it out and each family owns two cars. All of a sudden you've got 120 customers that have something in their hand that tells them how to get a discount on your top wash and contribute to a charity for someone they know that's involved in it. The return gets kind of pretty, gets good, gets good pretty quick. As long as they keep talking about it in their own little meetings, in their groups, or before the football game starts, on the on the speaker or the loudspeaker for the booster club, whatever it is, yeah, you go down to the Monster Express and help support your team, and hit fundraiser, choose one of the groups, and we'll they'll help support it, and you'll yeah. save money. All of a sudden, they're all talking about you. You couldn't have a better way to, to grow a business. And how are you tracking the success of the fundraisers? It's all about how many people are in the group and how many code redemptions come back. Uh, and then you can also get into like impressions, how many hits did we get on social media when we even took a picture of the group with the big check, uh, things like that. All right, reporting wise, what do, you, what do you do at the end of the month to make sure you're paying them? It's real simple. questioning it. It's real simple, the software in the back office says we go back into that um, the back office, we pull up that fundraising opportunity, and it's got, by that code number, it'll tell it how many times it was used, and uh, multiply it times if we're giving them $2 a wash, on the top wash or maybe a dollar on the next wash down, it's going to automatically add it up and tell us to write the check. All right, guys, well, thanks for joining me again. Uh, it's been a great talk. I think uh, there's a lot of education here going on, and I, I love hearing the different ways that you're utilizing fundraisers, you're utilizing the different marketing, how you're selling it, what, what you believe in, and really how you're taking care of your clients. So if anyone ever needs anything from Slam Marketing, you can always reach out to Mike Berlin, uh, Nick on our sales team, you can find me anywhere. You can find Anthony somewhere. Uh, thanks for joining. I look forward to seeing you guys again on the next Tech Talk.